Now I can rest in peace. The first words my mom said when I called to tell her I was leaving flight nursing. What kind of burden was my family carrying while I was doing this? I stared at the seven names whose lives were cut short in a mid-air collision. How could this happen? It was 2008 and we were trending to having the deadliest year in history. The helicopter airspeed slowed. I looked out the bubble window. It was snowing heavily and we were flying below the treetops. The interstate below. Limited visibility ahead. The flight had started just 30 minutes earlier in deteriorating weather, but my pilot said, let's keep going, and we could always turn around. I was fairly new and confident he would not put us in harm's way. I looked down and realized the ground had become obscured in a layer of clouds. We kept going. The first responders had moved the patient to a highway maintenance center. A hole appeared over the site, so he descended and landed. My pilot said, you have five minutes. No problem. Load and go is what we are best at. We rushed back to the running helicopter, secured the patient litter, my seatbelt, and gave the thumbs up. That hole closed. He said we'd have to continue west. Sounded good to me. He would never put us in harm's way. I couldn't see the treetops. There was no place to land. A first responder following not far behind us on the interstate radioed that there was a rest stop another exit down. An agonizing five minutes passed. Finally, the rest stop appeared and we landed. 22 years after that flight, it finally hit me that luck was on our side. 22 years? I understand why my mom said, now I can rest in peace.